Hi everyone, I'm Holly and welcome to the Giles Frontier. Today we are so excited to share with you our brand new unit study called the County Fair. It is a 12 week unit study and activities that actually follows the book Little House in the Big Woods and it has lots of great hands-on pioneer activities and one of the things that's in there is the rag doll and this is our rag doll kit. One of my favorite parts about it, I think, is the watercolor drawing that my sister-in-law did for us. This is our little rag doll here. And this is a kit that will be available on our website. If you've seen us at a convention lately, that's where you've picked yours up at. Um, we're gonna have them at conventions all during the season. But I wanted to do a video with you to show you exactly how to make the rag doll. <laughs> now, we have instructions on page seven inside our uh, unit study, however, Trying to write out how to make this doll is a little bit more complicated than actually making the doll itself. So I thought we'd just take a few minutes and show you how simple making this doll can be. And once you see the video, you'll be able to show it to your kids and make them and cut them out yourself and do all that great stuff. So in our kit comes everything that you need to make the doll. And we're gonna demonstrate how to put that together for you right now. Okay, so we have all of our supplies laid out on the table. We have our 10 strips of muslin that are about two inches wide and roughly eight inches long. We have one large cotton ball and we have the fabric cut out for our scarf, the skirt and the tie and all of those are found in the kit and also in the book, The County Fair. So the first thing we're going to do is take two of our strips and we're going to lay them horizontally then we are going to take two more strips and this time we're going to lay them vertically but we're going to lay the top part a little bit taller than the bottom we're going to then take our cotton ball which is her head and we're going to place it right above the middle and then we're going to fold the vertical strips over the cotton ball to meet the bottom strips, if you can catch that down here. So they're even down here at the bottom. Okay, so here is the first part. Then we're going to take these two vertical, I'm sorry, these two horizontal strips and we're going to tie them. So we're basically making a tie underneath her head to secure that. And you'll have to work with each one of your ties, you know, to kind of make it how you want it. So here's the tie. And here's her head. And now we're going to take two more strips together. And we're going to lay the bottoms to meet the bottom that we just made and then lay it over her face and we're going to tie again. Again, you'll want to play with your ties to kind of straighten them out and make them the way that you want. Now we're going to take the top two pieces and fold it down over the tie that you just made. Okay? Now we're going to take the doll and we're going to turn her over and we're going to do the same thing we're going to take our two strips and we're going to lay it over and then we are going to make a tie Now this tie I'm going to work with a little bit because this is going to be the front. And I'm going to kind of make that a little bit nice and tight. And I want to try to make these two ends even because they're going to be her arms. And then I'm going to take this piece again and lay it over. So as you can see, this now kind of becomes the body of our doll and here's her head again you'll want to play with that 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make her arms look like arms. Excuse the helicopter. <laughs> They didn't get the message we were filming today. Okay, so I made a little tie at the end here, and that is going to be one of her arms. And then the other one, I'm just gonna make a little knot here at the end. And again, that just kind of define her arm a little bit, okay? Now, we're going to take the pieces that you cut out for her skirt the long piece, we're gonna turn it upside down, backwards, we're gonna lay the tie that you cut across the middle, and then we're going to fold it over. Now you can sort of gather it up if you like, make it look like a little full skirt, and you're gonna kinda come down maybe about an inch uh, from her arms, cause you're really creating her body at this point with the apron. Okay, so here I'm gonna put it down about an inch. I'm going to flip her over. And I'm gonna tie on the skirt. This one I'm going to make into a knot so it stays tight. So here, now she sort of looks like a little doll. Okay, now we're going to take the headscarf that you cut out and we're gonna fold it in half. This one I've already been working with, so <laughs> it's a little, little wrinkled up. So your headscarf is gonna be folded in half like this. And you're just gonna place it on her head and then we're going to tie it up under her neck. Again, you're gonna to wanna to work with your tie and, and fix it and move it around to where you get it, to where you would like it. and pull her head, and pull it down. So in the end, this is our little rag doll. So as you can see, the directions aren't very hard when you can do it in person. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the unit study, the county fair, with all the great activities that we have going on and making your rag doll. Thanks again, bye-bye.